Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's the holy grail for growing babies. In fact, according to the Center for Disease Control and the American Academy of Pediatrics, moms should breastfeed exclusively for at least six months and up to a year due to the health benefits associated with breast milk. Breastfeeding counselor Adelina Portella. If the baby is breastfed, then the baby has complete nutrients from the mom. Um, the mom can provide everything the baby needs for the first few days. Like for example, the colostrum, so the baby can move their, their bowels and they can clean their system, and formula doesn't provide that. Skin-to-skin -skin contact from breastfeeding can also help babies stay warmer, calmer, cry less, and have better blood sugar levels. In turn, breastfeeding can also help moms burn calories. However, it does come with some challenges. Mothers should have a support system in place, and breastfeeding counselors can also help moms and babies make adjustments to make the process easier. As for working moms, laws are in place to ensure breastfeeding is accessible in the workplace. Public Law 32. 2-098 called the Nanad Zan Patkun Act um, requires uh, employers, it says employers must provide a reasonable time break, also a reasonable space. Um, a lot of our mom, a lot of our employers on, on, on Guam have very limited space. It doesn't have to be a fancy place, it's just a private space where a mom can just use it for 20 minutes while she's expressing her milk. She said the Breastfeeding Task Force under the Non-Communicable Disease Consortium also aims to increase nursing access in public places, such as government agencies or the malls. It can also be like a family room. You know, when you have mom shopping at the mall, um, if the baby gets cranky, you know, all they want to do is just go home. So if, you, if, the, if the mall would provide a space for those kind of um, need for moms, and they would stay in the mall and even shop longer and they may shop more. She said with nursing rooms already available at Bank of Guam, the Department of Labor, Public Health and the airport, she hopes other businesses will soon follow suit. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.